Depending on where you're deploying your digital signs, you may wish to have some of your screens rotated 90 degrees so that they are installed in vertical or what we would call a portrait mode layout. Um, people aren't always sure how to create content that works when the screen is oriented vertically, so I'm going to show you how to do that very briefly. Now I'm on a Mac here and I'm going to open up my favorite graphic design application which is called Sketch. I'm going to uh, make an artboard that's going to be 1080 pixels wide by 1920 pixels tall. So it's uh, 1080 HD, but the, um, the height and width are reversed, of course, so that the, uh, the graphic will be vertical. Next thing I do is I'm going to uh, just copy in some content from a different design that I made before. Um, let's adjust the logo here so it's in the bottom right of this new artboard. We're going to adjust the title. Let's just call this one Portrait. And now I'm going to have to adjust the images a bit, um, stretch them out top to bottom, and I'll adjust the, uh, the black overlay here. And now we have a vertical design. So I'm going to export my artboard and make it into a PNG file and place it on the desktop. And by the way, this happens to be a, uh, an application called Sketch, but the process is the same whether you're using anything from Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator to PowerPoint for that matter. Um, so let's just open up our PNG file. And what I'm going to do is click Command R to rotate this file 90 degrees. You can also do this through the Edit menu. And I'm going to save the graphic. So now we have the same graphic, but it's rotated 90 degrees. And all I'm going to do is open up Zogo. Now I have Zogo running in Windows on a virtual machine here, but it uh, should look familiar. I'm going to drag my file onto the Windows desktop. And now I'm just going to click New and upload my portrait view graphic into the library just as I would with any other graphic. Um, I'm going to tag this one portrait mode and click Save. And now that I have my new file uploaded, I'm going to create a portrait mode playlist. So let's go ahead and add the uh, portrait mode item here. And it's in our library list, so let's click Save. And now, again, just as with any other Zogo playlist, I'm going to open up uh, my player and assign the new portrait playlist to it. And let's click Save. And now, when I open up Zogo player, it's going to reach out to the cloud and it's going to see that an update is available. So it's already downloading the new content, the new playlist that we just created. And now you can see that our portrait mode uh, graphic is appearing on screen. Now obviously it appears 90 degrees rotated here. And that's because the player you're looking at is in landscape mode. Now if this was appearing on a TV which is mounted to the wall and rotated into vertical format, then it should look correct. Now as a last note, if your, uh, your TV is in vertical mode but your graphic is appearing upside down, then what you need to do is reopen the file on the desktop, spin it another 180 degrees, save it, load it into Zogo as we just did, and push it to the player, and now everything will appear correct.